Out of all the components that a VR headset has, the display is by far one of the most important. It's responsible for the colors, clarity, resolution and sometimes even field of view. With technology continuously evolving, new innovations are constantly being made within the field of display technology and it won't be long until high resolution screens will be affordable and cheaper to manufacture. However, all that stuff may come in the future but it's not here yet. And right now you might be stuck with a headset that works but also looks a little bit blurry when you're wearing it. What if you want to boost your visuals right now without changing hardware at all? One way to increase your image quality, which you're most likely already familiar with, is super sampling. This basically ups the resolution of the image you're rendering to the point that it's a higher resolution than the screen you're using as a display. When the image is displayed on a screen with lower fidelity, the screen will appear to have more detail and a higher resolution. Okay, so it looks like we found our solution then. Let's just turn the slider all the way up and... The thing with super sampling is that it requires a lot of GPU horsepower. Bringing up the slider just a little bit can sometimes cause very large frame drops and stutters. Lucky for you, I know a way to achieve a similar effect with little to no effect on performance. Let me show you how I did it. In order to achieve this goal, we will be using a reshade preset that equipped with a sharpening filter. This works similar to the sharpening filter you will find on the photo editing apps like Photoshop or even Instagram. The software we're utilizing is equipped with AMD's Contrast Adaptive Sharpening Filter, which is a sharpening filter that's designed to combat blur that's often created by THH TAA anti-aliasing, which makes it perfect for sharpening up our image in VR. Before we start, I'd like to make it clear that this method is quite experimental and it may not work with every game. I originally found this mod while browsing the r slash virtual reality subreddits in a post made by u slash ARCCXJO. And since he has also made a list with compatible games, which you will find in the video description too. To install the mod, head on over to the download link in the description. This will open a website called Nexus Mods. Here you can click on Files, Download, Slow Download. You will need to make an account if you don't have one already. Afterwards you can open the location of the file you downloaded and unzip it. These are all the files we will need. Now we need a game to install these mods into. I chose VRChat as an example. Installing the mod is easy. All you need to do is copy these files into the same folder that the executable from your game of choice is in. If your game was installed via Steam, you can simply right click in your library, go to manage and local files. Sometimes the actual .exe file may be located a bit further down in these folders like with Aircar for example. If you're using a different client, you can right click the game on your desktop and select open file location. Once we've located the executable, we can head back to the files we downloaded, select them all and hit copy. After that we move them over to the previous window and paste them in our games folder. And that's about it. The next time you launch your game, you'll see a small prompt to indicate that reshade is running. When you're in game, you can toggle the effects using the end key. And if you press the home key on your keyboard, you enter the reshade menu. Here you can change different settings of the post-processing profile. You may notice that the default profile also includes a small bump in contrast and saturation. And since I have an LCD screen, I found that this does have quite a positive impact on image clarity and color vibrance. But if you want to turn it off or slightly reduce it, you can do so here. You can also change the intensity of the sharpening filter. Press home once more to exit the reshade menu. And now you're done! You'll notice that objects in a distance are visible much more clearly, and objects closer to you will have more visible detail. This effect is of course much more convincing when you're actually wearing the headset, and I highly urge you to go try it as it's free and it only takes a couple of minutes to set up. The difference really is like night and day. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you find it helpful in some way. If you end up trying this for yourself, please let me know how your experience was and if it worked for you. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified of my future uploads. I also have some other VR related videos on that channel you might be interested in checking out too. But with all that said and done, I once again thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye!